Hi, I'm Shivani. Welcome back. Uh, today's Friday, the 17th of March. It's uh, St. Patrick's Day today. But unfortunately, I won't be able to go to the city center and see the parade that they have every year because I don't want to get stuck and miss my flight to London. So I'm flying tonight at like, I think my flight's at 7.30, but my air coach is at 3.30 p.m. And the parade is from 12 to 3.30. So, if I go there and get stuck, it will be a huge issue. And plus, the parade is every year, but the tickets of today's day were so cheap. Like with my 10 kg check-in bag, my single journey costed, like from Dublin to London, it was at 15 euros, which is very cheap. And because I am paying for the tickets and accommodation with my own money that I earned here, I need cheap stuff, bro. Things are so expensive. So I was like, okay, parade agle sal bhi hota hai. I can go later. But cheap London trip happens only once. That too, like a first time London trip. I've never been there. And this is sort of like my first backpacking trip because I'm living at a Wombat City Hostel, which is like a commercial backpackers hostel. So yeah, uh, my flatmate is also actually flying to London with me. She has friends and family there, so we look at itineraries a little different. So this morning we both got up. We just wore like our green Irish T-shirts. We wore like those clover printed green hair pants, and we like walked around Black Rock Village. I shot a montage, so I'll just enter it right now. That was fun. It's honestly refreshing to see the streets of Europe so alive because otherwise Kali hota hai, it's dead. It's actually dead. Like koi nahi rehta raste pe, but it was so colourful and lively today. It was like great for a change. Anyway, we came home, we had lunch. I'm just gonna get changed. I'm wearing all my heavy stuff like uh, thermals, leather pants, boots, hoodie, scarf, my huge black puffer jacket. This is my airport look because honestly 10 kg was a little less to carry your clothes, slippers, skincare, makeup, uh, electronics and stuff. So it's okay like it's just a 5 day trip so I think I'll be fine. But anyway I'm just gonna get changed and my air coach is at 3.30 so I'll see you later bye. So we finally got our air coach at 3.30 and reached Dublin airport. We had a lot of time to kill so we were just chilling for a while. And I also got some time to speak to my best friends on the airport. After finally boarding the flight, uh, we took off for London and we were flying through Air Lingus and the flight was barely 45 minutes to one hour long. It's like Mumbai, Pune. Honestly, it doesn't feel like you're flying international. But anyway, an hour later at around 9.30ish, we reached Gatwick Airport in London. And when we reached there, we realized that our Irish sims weren't working. So we had to use City Mapper's offline maps to get to our destination. and. It really freaked Sanchita out, but we somehow managed. City Mapper was a lifesaver, and we reached our destination for that night. And oh, there's the tower bridge lit up at night. Good morning. It's the 18th of March today. It's Saturday. We kind of landed uh, late last night, so we came from Gatwick Airport here into Zone 3, which is like the east of London, uh, at Sanchita's friend's place, and we crashed here. So. Thank you Sriniti. and uh, this morning we just went out for a walk to the post office we wanted some stamps and currency when we went out I realized that this is like the second South Hall this is a whole Indian neighborhood and I saw some like genuinely 
good food shops because it smelled really nice. I smelled jalebi after after a really long time. But anyway, everyone's getting ready now, and we are heading out for brunch. I'm like everyone's craving for South Indian food, and I'm gonna have filter coffee and four idli. And post that uh, is our hostel check-in after 2 p.m., which is like in the city, like right next to Tower Bridge. So yeah, let's go. After having a hearty South Indian brunch, we took the train and reached Tower Hill Station, from where we walked to Wombats City Hostel. So Wombats is a very commercial uh, hostel chain, and I thought I'd give you a tour. So the people at the reception were extremely welcoming, and throughout the hostel, they had some extremely cute decor, which I loved. They also had uh, these common areas where you could socialize and work and chill. and this was my favorite spot out of them all they also have a cafe which works from like 8 to 5 every day and right next to the reception at the entrance there are two vending machines the hostel is actually pretty big it's like six floors in total but the best part about it was the underground bar So as soon as you walk down the stairs you reach this recreational area with pool tables and table tennis tables and the entire basement has this brick wall theme going which looks really rustic They also have a cheaper rate for drinks and pub grubs because uh, most of the people living here are like youngsters and students and backpackers they also have an underground laundry and there was a fully functional kitchen which the residents can use and right outside the kitchen there was this open area for smoking so our room was right on the ground floor and we had chosen a six bed female dorm so yeah Hi so I'm editing this vlog right now I'm back home in Dublin and everything uh there is one reason I could not exactly film a room tour because unfortunately for the first night that we stayed there uh two of the girls in the six bed dorm they were kind of rude to my friend and uh they had problems with like every little thing so i couldn't really film inside the room and later when two new people came I just really don't want to mess with anyone. So anyway, uh I think this is going to be the outro for this video. You should stay tuned because this is what's coming up next.